What's going on guys, welcome back to Ocoin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any crypto content for this bull run. For those of you who have been conducting your research into various cryptocurrencies, you would know that tokenomics of a project are a big, big factor. I would go as far as saying it's one of the main factors about the popularity of the project and also the way it would catch on and bring in investors for the long term. So various projects have launched in the past years and in the past months and when it comes to developing the tokenomics of these projects, a lot of thought goes into that. And it is also worth noting that you can easily get this part very wrong. And once you launch, that's it. The tokenomic model is out there and the token is floating around. Whatever happens after the launch usually means that's the way it needs to stay. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about a project which goes in front of that and tackles the problem of tokenomics, T-Pro Network. T-Pro Network building the app-specific blockchain network for Web3 economy. To start off, I'd like to thank the T-Pro team for the trust and support and sponsoring of this video. Today, we're going to be looking at what T-Pro is, the roadmap, how T-Pro users benefit and the token itself that runs the T-Pro network. So to start off, T-Pro network is a blockchain based ecosystem that enables modeling, simulating, reporting and verifying of tokenomic models. As we said, tokenomics are at the forefront of every project's success. T-Pro network stands as a transformative force in the cryptocurrency space, revolutionizing transparency in tokenomics and paving the way for more sustainable projects. So exactly as we said at the beginning, the tokenomic model often decides about the longevity of the project. And also, once you get this wrong, that's it. So it is of utmost importance that you put a lot of effort that teams actually use these services to remove any chance of unsuccessful launches, unsuccessful developments and projects longevity safe, secure and accountable Web3 economics. So T-Pro Network has an extensive roadmap. Recently, uh, they released an ambassador program that grants access to early alpha and extra airdrops for the participants. So if you guys are interested, make sure you follow these guys on Twitter and check out their latest announcements in the telegrams. And if you're interested, you can jump into that ambassador program as we speak. As you can see, April 2024 is set to have a launch of the DAO. We are also looking at a strategic use of the staking pools. T-Pro holders will stake the tokens in the nodes and in return reap yields. And moving on to May 2024, we are looking at a couple of interesting things here as well. We are looking at onboarding strategic DAO members but once that month is over, mainnet for T-Pro chain, mainnet wallet to access the chain, mainnet application layer apps simulate exchange, mainnet native economic layer model simulations scoring. So for those of you who want to conduct your own research into T-Pro and if you guys are interested um, in creating a position in T-Pro, doing so before these main events take place is usually a good idea when it comes to such huge releases. Therefore, there's a lot of things to be looking forward to. So now let's talk about how T-Pro users benefit. So let's say you're interested, you've conducted your own research after this video and you want to see the benefits for the holders. So there's an interesting diagram on the website of T-Pro Network that gives you an overview of the benefits for T-Pro users. So devs build economic dApps on top of the T-Pro network. KOLs develop their tokenomic models and audit the tokenomics of the projects they discuss. Uh, we have community members, VCs, for the first time in history, gain an unfair advantage, making your due diligence process bulletproof through data-driven decisions. Um, given that we will have these tools in front of us, given that we'll be able to, to run simulations on top of the tokenomic models. Um, this is one of those things that gives you 
additional extra advantage in the market and as we said before on the channel the market is driven by decisions the market is driven by emotions as well therefore any sign of you being able to do things that people can't will give you that slight advantage which in the long term gives you a lot a lot of advantage in the market itself and founders will be able to check tokenomic models to avoid burning the project during the launch uh, again as we said at the beginning it is very crucial to get this process right because once you launch the token is live there is no going back the native token of tpro network is tpro as we said so looking at the data on coingecko you can see that the market cap of tpro is around 13 and a half million us dollars and if we have a look at the chart itself, you can see that for the past few months, we had a bit of a stairway, a very gradual stairway going up, uh, which is an interesting way of accumulation, kind of a vertical accumulation phase as we speak. Uh, there's plenty of liquidity as well, 460K in USD terms of liquidity. So for those of you who want to create a position, there is plenty of liquid there. The token itself has increased in price very rapidly, uh, even since the last few months. If you have a look at the October dates, um, the token was 0.001, kind of going at that range uh, where accumulation phase took place, and then it skyrocketed and did great results. As you can see, the volume picked up as well. So that's interesting. That's always something that you want to see when it comes to the project. And for those of you who want to stay up to date with everything around TPRO Network, I would suggest you guys follow them on Twitter. Also join the Telegram. You can ask questions and get your answers swiftly. I think projects with such a niche product, a product that should be used by various different projects, but to be honest, it should be used by all projects that release. It's an interesting proposition. It can save projects from various unforeseen circumstances. Therefore, it's one of those projects that we'll be looking at and we'll be tracking on the channel in the next weeks and months. This is it for today. I will see you in the next one.